Okay, what we have here is a 1992 Toyota Camry with a 3.0 V6. And I decided to make this short video as a couple of little tests. First of all, I'm putting up a YouTube channel. I'd like to try to post this and see how it goes. But secondly, <clears throat> the project I'm working on on this car is simply to replace the valve cover gaskets. But on this particular car, uh, it's quite a job. It's not as easy as uh, one would think. Uh, I do have a Haynes manual. And the Haynes manual does not cover a lot of the a lot of the uh, things that you'll need to do, and so a lot of this has been trial and error. So I'm going to just uh, grab a crate here I can stand on, point out a couple of things real quick. Okay, this is the top of the engine. I'm on the passenger side. This is the front of the engine here, where the drive belt assembly is, front of the alternator, and this would be the front where the radiator is and the front uh, valve cover there that's a clean part it's been replaced the gaskets has been cleaned up and then there's the rear now what I want to point out is how to get this rear cover off because uh, a lot there's nothing in the book on how to get this thing apart how to get it up okay so real quickly um, the big problem with this is this area right here this is a plastic cover that's about that wide and it sits like this and as you can see, it's about, I don't know, two inches tall. And it, it encompasses the entire wiring harness that goes into a bulkhead here into the firewall. But it also splits off and comes on the top of the engine here. This rear section here is a continuation of that wiring harness. It's all one. And the function of this is to carry all the wires to connect all the sensors and uh, injectors on this side of the engine as well as you come over here it uh, connects to the uh, uh, sensors down below the alternator and down below the air conditioning compressor so all that has to come off this comes up but in order to get this cover enough room to get this cover out there simply is not enough room back here so a couple of quick tips for any of you that are trying to get this done first of all uh, there are two um, two uh, wires that go down from this to the other side down below the engine. There's one, I don't know if I can back up here, but there's one towards the rear. Um, actually, it's right here. Uh, it, and it wraps around and goes down, and it connects to the oxygen sensor on the exhaust on that side. And then the one that I could not see that I found out the hard way is more towards the front here, and it goes straight down and it plugs into the very lower side of the front of the engine there and I believe it's probably a crank sensor or something I'm not real sure what it is but you'll need to understand that there's a wire over here that goes down you disconnect the connector there and then there's another wire that goes down from below this plastic piece straight down and you'll need to disconnect that and once you unbolt this it will move around the other key uh, to get getting this done is there's a bracket right here on the top here, there's a, there's a stud that faces backwards, and you use a little 10 millimeter wrench and you un unscrew it, and it actually disconnects uh, this piece here from this bracket. So uh, that takes it loose there, and then down below on the lower side of the engine, there's a, a bolt that requires a 14 millimeter socket. Uh, I had to use a very long extension from underneath to get it off. Once you get that bracket off, uh, remove the bracket, get this. Uh, uh, wiring harness case loose and up and then once you disconnect all this and those two wires in the back I was able to have enough room I had to actually take a piece of string and tie that uh, bracket or I'm sorry the, the plastic case up I had to tie it up in this area to hold it up and then I had enough room to get that valve cover off additionally one other quick thing on the front here um, can't really see it very well but this particular wire right here actually goes down into in between the front top motor mount and the timing cover case down down in, in where I'm sticking my finger if you run it this way it's going to hit the belt right here so you have to actually support the engine from the rear properly if you know how to do that um, and then uh, uh, take this top bracket off it's not very deep take the top bracket off and you can actually get it out and then I'm getting ready to actually put it back in so again, with any kind of repair, you want to make sure you follow all industry standard safety uh, practices. 
Uh, I have my car up on jack stands. Uh, um, I prefer to go uh, further back on the rear, of course, but uh, make sure you, you follow all safety uh, uh, procedures uh, because you'll be crawling underneath the car. You don't want the car to fall on you, okay? So hopefully um, I'll try to post this up and see if I can actually get it on YouTube. Again, this is a 1992 Toyota Camry 3.0 V6. Uh, not real, real uh, easy to work on. Uh, hope, hopefully the uh, information here will help.